What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Meatballs SOS. Um, has <clears throat> been a lot of questions about the, uh, a bag that uh, I featured in one of my videos recently. It's the uh, German Snow Camel bag. Um, it's a uh, reproduction bag from uh, World War II. Um, arguably, actually, some uh, modern militaries still are rocking this pattern. Um, it's great for hunting. Uh, but I've seen it used in Ukraine um, in some circumstances, in some instances rather, uh, on YouTube. If you follow some of the Ukrainian pages, um, I've, I've seen some of the, not regular army, but they look like possible militia units uh, rocking it out there. And it, and it works great. It works like a charm. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into the bag, shall we? So... As you guys see, I've attached my shovel to the front pouch, okay? Um, it is, here, let me flip you guys are okay. So, here we go. The shovel, I, I just put it in here just to demonstrate it. Um, as you can see, it doesn't really go down all the way, but that's okay. Uh, this is more or less for like a, um, a good hatchet, tomahawk, uh, camp axe, whatever you guys want to do. Um, and then you can still put stuff in between here, okay, to go across if you want to put like a, uh, a folding saw or, you know, pruning saw, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, now from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's got that many pockets. However, I want to show you guys, okay, this bag, let me flip this around from end to end is all open space. So it's. You are literally utilizing every square inch of this bag, okay? Um, pretty thick, decent uh, straps here, shoulder straps. All right, let's get a good look at the bag, back of the bag. Right here you have a little zipper compartment, okay? If you want to access stuff here, hang on. Okay. If you want to access stuff from uh the back pocket this is actually its own separate pocket so here's a secret compartment which is pretty cool okay um you have a top pocket right here all right two side pockets here and here and then you also have in here, this is a little hard to open, bear with me. Give me one second, I'm gonna put you guys down. There we go, bring you guys back up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Another pocket in here. And that pocket goes about six inches deep, okay? Um, now the inside of this thing is interesting, okay? The inside of this bag, <coughs> has two compartments at the top and at the bottom okay at the bottom you have your own um it's a separate where is okay here we go dry bag compartment okay so you can actually separate your um heavy gear and your light gear and actually accurately pack your bag right because there is a way to pack your bag it's not just about throwing it in um, let me see if I can just hold this up. There we go. So on the inside of the pack itself, there is this material, this dry bag material. So there's two separate compartments. You have the main, and then you have the bottom. The bottom has, like I said, its own separate drawstring uh, enclosure. If you want, you can open it up. And stuff whatever you want in there um so these packs they might not look uh like you could pack a lot in there but they're really tall they're super tall and the straps allow you to cinch it down and when you open the straps up on this bag i mean it opens up um let's see here one feature about this bag that i do like okay one second Okay. 
know if you guys could see that. Just, all right, see that? That's actually that's actually a solid a solid piece of, of metal. Okay, so this is not a a gimmicky bag by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and it's made of some pretty tough stuff too. On top of that, um, the German snow camo pattern. You know, a lot of people are like, neat. What if I don't have, you know, the ability? I, you know, I can't really um, afford like another backpack. Which, so hey, that's totally, that's totally understandable. You know, you don't need another backpack. I just, I'm me. I'm a surplus junkie, and I like surplus gear. Um, you can get away, get around that with something very simple. There's a couple things you can do for a bag cover a bag cover ring cover you can get one that's like you know a snow camo pattern um or a world war ii jeep tire cover will fit over very large packs okay uh it does fit over the alice pack as well um you know we were talking about in the other segment about snow camo and this that and the other and what to do you know, you're balling on a budget. You don't want to go out and buy, you know, more camo or, like, whatever the case may be. That's fine. You could get a poncho for, like, nothing with the gators. Um, that's what I have here. Come with me here. Sorry about that. Okay. You have the snow gators here. And it comes with... Your poncho okay now what's cool about this poncho here all right is that it actually has grommets so if you had to make a shelter you can make a shelter out of this guy um, and what I like about or ponchos whatever um, they're multi-use you know so you can use them to uh, cover yourself up conceal yourself stay dry make a quick shelter you know some 550 cord um, it's guys it's you don't need to break the bank. You don't need to go crazy doing it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's really it. I mean, there is, on Amazon, you can get another pattern um, in a little pouch like this. I have it. I have it somewhat. You know what? Stick with me. Don't leave. Don't go nowhere. Here. Okay. <laughs> this stuff right here. What an easy solution. Such a simple solution. I mean, look at this stuff. Look. Alright. It's not pure white, okay? It's got light grays and dark grays, so you still have a breakup in there. Um. You know, yeah, you're going to stand out like a sore thumb, you know, what we were talking about with the woods and stuff, but, you know, something's better than nothing, right? And so, there's your options. You know, you can get a bag with the poncho, the German snow poncho, like what I got, or you can just get hunting camo, you know, or, you know, you can find this. Um, I'm not sure what brand it is, some Chinese piece of junk probably, but whatever. Hey, if it works, it works, right? What works... For me, it might not work for you, and what works for you might not work for me, right? So, but, uh, yeah, that's all I got on that, guys. Just wanted to show you the bags and uh, some different ways you can uh, conceal yourself. You know, you don't need to go buy a whole new winter camo, um, you know, uniform. You really don't need to. So, but, uh, as always, stay safe. Hands up.